So I was originally going to, I was originally working to set up my ThinkPad to do this on, but due to like other things over the last couple of days, I've decided, you know what, it's going to be easier just to go this route. And so I've been meaning to like mess around with Void Linux and Void is actually one reason why my outros have basically died that I'd been using the pre-built outros that I've been attaching to all my videos because I didn't double check that I was making sure I was writing to the right drive with DD. And so now I'm in the middle of working to recover different data. And that's why you saw the DMDE video and things like that for data recovery because I was trying to mess with void and trying to write it to a flash drive that was empty and instead i wrote it to my external hard drive which was not empty so this is void the we have the live cd xfce muscle um set up and re ripping and roaring to go so rather than setting up my whole system to go and do things i'm just going to boot up to a virtual machine and run it that way so, yeah, we'll just roll with that one. So I picked Muscle because, you know, I figured let's go with something different rather than the basic one because everyone uses glibc. And OpenSSH obviously has problems because of glibc. So we are here in Void Linux. It boots up pretty well. Huh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was I was wondering where that was gonna go. Okay. So we've got our wired connection. We've got our other things. So the I didn't look too much into it, but it should be pretty good. So, um, we've got our basic XFCE setup going on here. Uh, nothing too fancy. Um, let's go to home. Open folder. We've got our lovely Thunar that has been with XFCE for ages. Um, let's see. Arrange items. Create document. Ah, da, 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 view. Show hidden. So what's our default config? Thunar pulse. So let's go to system task manager think okay we do have pipe wire going and we do have pipe wire pulse basically running so we have a pulse audio interface with pipe wire and pipe wire running that way so one notable thing is void linux does use run it for its oh process it's in it and i've been obviously using artix for with run it for my init system. So is that no. Do we have any fetch? No. Okay. So I've been using Artix, obviously. And so on the default system it doesn't have any fetchy things going on. So yeah. Um let's go now. So, yeah, so I'm familiar with Run It already. I am have had problems with other applications because I don't have Systemd or OpenRC installed. So that may or may not be something I may be looking at later on. But right now, oh, blah, blah, Run It has done my things very, very nicely. So, yeah. XFCE haven't used it in a while, but here we are. We've got all the basic stuff, desktop. So we don't really have any fancy void stuff, it looks like, to go off of the background. Um, backgrounds. Okay. Desktop. Other? Okay, now let's go user share. So nothing in there. 
to UV Void Artwork. Open. I mean, it's something. So, let's see. We've got, okay, our accessories. Development, graphics. So, we've got a basic, oh, graphics viewer. We've got Firefox installed. We've got parole for our media player. And that's most of it. So, Parole, pretty basic video player. It's been around for ages. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty basic. I'd probably go with VLC or something else instead, but here we are. Skip. 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 Start browsing. Okay, so, yeah, Firefox. So, one notable thing about oh, Void is their package manager is built from the ground up. Uh, let me go look at the repository stuff. Installation guides. Okay, so, um... What we are going to do, I think, we'll, yeah, we'll just run it that way. So, quick installation. All we got to do is click in the right window and we go void installer. What's the default star? Da, 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 da. Oh. I had it right. Okay. Let's throw that window. Simple minimal Linux distribution made from scratch. Let's see. Set up the network, set up the source installation. So we can go with the base system. Network is working properly. Set up the host name. Uh, root password, network, set up the network. Okay, cool, see? XBPS mirror. Oh, yeah. I should probably do that for the best experience. Choose a mirror geographically close to you. North America. Ah, California. I hate it. Yes. Time zone. America. Denver. Okay, set disk to install bootloader. That one, yes. File systems. Oh. Okay. GPT. I'm completely lazy.
be fat. We'll go with, I guess, butter FS. And now, no, where's my user? User account. It would help if I paid attention to things, honestly. Ah, interesting. Give it wheel, dial out, audio, video, floppy, disk, sys, bin, CD-ROM, storage, crony. X Builder KVM. Do I need any others? Maybe. Um, K Man, ba da ba da 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 da. Okay, so so far so good. It's installing the base system. And then from there, we can do other crazy cool things. But yeah, that's the basic install procedure. We'll see what happens when it boots back up. Okay, so it looks like it's installed most of the base stuff. Now it's just got to configure things. And it looks like it's pretty quick for the most part. And it looks like it does have NVIDIA firmware. So. Oh, no. That does not seem Gucci. Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, that's the basic. If I'd done it right, it would be fine. But that's void. I'm going to mess around with it, and I'll probably get it on my ThinkPad, and then I'll be back with it once I have it all set up. So, yeah, first look at void. Pretty interesting. No tools too much to worry about just yet.